coffee's almost ready, Kylie. I think Ooh. we're ready to go live. <gasps> Coffee time. Beveragino. Did somebody say Beveragino? <laughs> Show me a Beveragino. <laughs> Hello. Hi, everyone. We've got our Beveraginos of you. Did somebody say Beveragino? Beveragino. Welcome, everybody. Hello, everyone. So nice to see you all here chatting away. Got our beautiful usuals, Carrie's in the house, Hilda, Charlotte. So nice to see you all. Come over, scooch on over. So I worked out that if we sit back here, then, then you can both be on. But then I'll look like I have a big head. No, but we, if you come back here too. Oh, then... good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so well, how are you all? Yes, how are you all? What's been happening? Tell us the news. Did somebody say Beveragino? What are you all drinking today? Jessica! Hi, Jessica. It's good to see you. Brenton, hello. Hi, Brenton. Angie, Megan, Gail, Deirdre. Helen, welcome. Jennifer. Romper room. <laughs> and I can see you too. Did they ever say Bruno? They never said Bruno. But, <gasps> but they included me when they said I can see you too. That's are you nice. Cleansing? Is that how you did it? Yes. I had a very, very broken sleep last night. I don't know how all of you slept. It is freezing here in Melbourne at the moment. It was so, cold-ish, but I was hot. Yeah, it was weird. It's like I'm hot, then I'm cold. It was like it's Katy, like Katy Perry, Perry song. Uh -huh. Hot, then you're cold, yes. Anyway, then at about, I don't know, 5 o'clock, I was just about to drift off to sleep. Yes, at 5 a.m. And then just for went... <laughs> Like, I'm gonna kill that dog. <laughs> I was gonna message Jesse and say, <laughs> take Can you please take him to the vet? <laughs> Jesse had a dream that she took him to the vet and put him down. <laughs> we would never put Jasper no. down, but it is a funny joke. <laughs> so, yes, he was very naughty, and all he wanted was to be lifted up and put on the bed, and then he did not move. One little bit. No. He just wanted to be warm and snuggly. Frankly, I, I, I don't I'm care happy. if he jumps I'm off. happy. <laughs> I'm happy, whatever. We're trying not to let him jump. Now, I'm trying to work out what the <laughs> comments are about. We've got iced tea. Iced rum tea, and cake. yeah. Well, that's what they're drinking. Oh, <laughs> they answered the question. <laughs> Bruno's like, what? Why are you talking about iced tea? Slum and slum and machine? No. Yes. <laughs> So what's happening in the latest Stampin' Up! news, Bruno? Okay. There's we always have, something. I said to Jesse, no, no, there's nothing, nothing really much, much happening. Uh, oh, oh, that's this, right, except for this, a last chance this. offer. Okay. So you know the January to June mini catalogue, which is, is it in this drawer? Yeah, the second one. Second one? I mean, third one, sorry. The second one also the knows. The second one also third. knows. It's the third. So <laughs> this catalogue. Yeah. Here, those beautiful tulips. This catalogue is retiring. So there's some things that are in this catalogue that aren't carried through to the next catalogue, mm. which means they will be bye-bye bye forever. And so I you can actually bye see bye all of these green marks across mm. there. They're, they're stamp going. sets that are going to be going. So it includes stamp sets, dies, other things. So mm. let me just share my screen. Oh, did we share this? I don't yeah. think I did. Yeah. We can just go like this. Yeah, and, there it is there. Okay. Here we go. Ta da Okay, so when you go to our online store, this is what it's going to look like. And there's a couple of banners which show... How do they get to our online store, Brennan? Um, so just go to our website, Kylie, Kylie Bertucci. Bertucci. Not Kylie Jenner. <laughs> KylieBertucci.com. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. Then you click on either the host code. Like that. That the picture. image, yep. or you can click on our Stampin' Up! store. We might change that to just Even shop, shop that shop button you can press too. That opens the drop down. You, it opens the store. Too. Oh, really? Yeah. So this is what it looks like, okay? Um, now, what we want to talk to you about first, before it goes, is this one here, Last Chance Products. So click on that, and you can see... All of these amazing deals. Now, we know you love a deal. I love a deal. So click on um, this drop down and say price 
low to high. And look at all these cheap. Oh! The doilies, the doilies are, cheap. are cheap. Wow, look at this supple <gasps> shimmer Even paper. Even the linen ribbon. Ephemera pack. Ephemera ribbon. Frosted beads. <laughs> so that's a good... This, that's well, a good even the way. Heart and Home um, Memories and More pack. M Memories and More pack, yeah. That's Look cheap. at that. Look that's... at this DSP for $10. <gasps> $10? That's half price. So you can get yourself a bargain. Look at all this DSP that's on sale. Wow. There's bargains galore at, at your Kylie Kylie store. <laughs> so that's one way to see the cheapest things. But if you want to just see... Um, I don't yeah, know. by name even or A to Z. Yeah. <laughs> is there a unit price? There is. Like, on the side here, you can say how much you oh, want. Oh yeah, that's cool. Um, but you can see the ones that are really discounted. Some of the things, as you can see, is not discounted, but some of them are. So, for example, here. There's a lot of fifty percent. There's a lot of fifty percent. Yeah. So, um, that's better. Sorry about that, everyone. That's better. Uh, some of these items, you can see um, some of the stamp sets and things are still carried over, but the discounted price is there. Mm. Rachel Testman. Oh, Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. Oh, Rachel's a sweetie. So anyway, that's uh, something that's very important that you need to take, it, take note of because once these retiring products are gone, they're gone they for good. They go for good. They go forever. And ever, ever. And just to confirm, when it says here on the side, retiring soon, you know that it's retiring soon. <laughs> and that means <laughs> That's it's going. the title. Gone. Now, something else we want to talk about is on the next banner, which is this <gasps> one here. Kids collection. Buy, Buy one, one, get, get one, 50% off. off. Let's go back to that one. So I'll click on that banner. And this is what inspired us today. So, um, get this, people. When you buy one, add, add this to the cart. cart. Let's add another one. And check this out. Come check this. Da, da, da. See this? <gasps> oh, the most expensive one. The most expensive one is 50% off, people. Yeah. So that's really good. Isn't that good? And I think that's a really good thing. If you are a crafter that is just starting out, if you're a beginner, this is a great place to start. But also if you have lost your mojo a bit, like when I'm feeling a bit meh, you know that feeling, meh, M-E-H. <laughs> Does anyone feel a bit meh? Do you like meh? I yeah, love meh. I love it too. Then if you've lost your crafting mojo, then this is... A very good place to start is to do one of the kits. So we're going to do some kits with you today. Now, so which kits do you think we should do, Kylie? I'm feeling like we should do a million thanks and robot bodies. Both of them? <laughs> yeah. Well, they're in the cart. Let's do both of them. <laughs> so these two oh, things. Warning, please. <laughs> <laughs> these two kits that we have. Oh, you can't see that. So let's go. Oh, do I press that? Yep. Then that. Yep. Then that. Yep. I've got that. it, people! <laughs> it's only taken how long? Long, long time. <laughs> so, what we're going to do, we are going to unbox these and do both of these kits. I the do kits love that an we have is a million thanks. Kylie will do that one. And this one here is Robot Buddies. And so, you saw how I just added those to the cart. And. Um, you're doing Robot Buddies. Yes, I'm you? doing Robot Buddies. Yeah. You saw how I added them to the cart and the most expensive one, which is uh, uh, robot, robot Buddies, buddies. was 50% off. Yeah. Someone said, who was it? Charlotte. I would have thought the least expensive one would be half price. Yeah. Way to go. Yes, I agree. They've done a good job there. And um, when I see a million thanks... A million yeah. thanks is all it's gonna take. We were watching her last night. Have you been seeing her on... That wasn't that song, though. It was a different song. Oh, yeah, true. Trying no. to hold my breath. Oh, yeah, it's a different... Let it stay. <laughs> we're talking about The Greatest Showman, which the is the greatest showman. movie ever made. 
of all time, other than Strictly Ballroom. Strictly Ballroom. Have you all seen Strictly Ballroom? Yeah. It's an Aussie film. You may not pick up on all of the lines and the quotes, but we can always decipher them for you because we know all of them. <laughs> we understand all of them. Okay, so before we go on, Kylie, is there someone you need to talk about? <gasps> yes, I want to give a shout out to Dawn and Donna. Because Donna um, bought some a Beveragino mug last week, our Love It Chop It mug, which is the link below. The link is below. Yes, so Donna got herself one of these and her mum found out that she was getting one of these and watches us as well with Donna and Dawn said, Donna, that's how she said it, Donna, I want a mug as well. No, I'm just making it Let up. me just see <laughs> if they are, they're Don't you stop. dare think that you can just get a mug for you and not for me. So she bought one for a mum. For a mum. A mug for a mum. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Do you like that one, Dawn? Did I sound like you? Donna, you can't just get one for you. <laughs> so, yes, that one. And also Caitlin has a very good ploy where she apparently wins every mug that goes into her household, according to herself. And um, yeah, tells her boyfriend that that's how they, that's how she keeps getting new mugs. <laughs> but she said he didn't ask this time. No. So. <laughs> so there are some in stock still. So if you want one of those mugs, I think there's only a couple. I checked five. Five. Yeah. So if you want one, get one. It's only five left. Now one other thing. This is very important, people. Oh, yes. Enamel pins. <gasps> yes. We have um, our enamel pins available. Whoops. Sorry. Yes. I can't see. <laughs> we have enamel pins. Let me just do this one. Uh, preview. Okay. We have enamel pins available in the link uh, in the description below. Yes. Um, amazing. Awesome. They're uh, so cute. So I keep cute. them on my desk here. We've got this one. The little plant, plant. the little We've house got the plant. chicken. We've got... <laughs> you didn't even show oh, the sorry. chicken. <laughs> the Love It Chopper. I love the Love It Chopper. Now, overseas postage, we, we, we can arrange that. But we've I've made some changes to the um, type of postage, and it's the same standard, but it's the same price if you buy one pin or okay. if you buy... 10 pins. No. Yes. And then it jumps up to the next one. Because That's of the much one. better. So um, if you have looked and thought, oh, the postage is a bit expensive. It was a bit expensive. It was. Uh, that's how much they charge. But I've adjusted a few things. And so if you wanted We're to. We're absorbing a little bit of the price. Correct. So. Because um, we feel it's worthwhile. We want you to all get a pin. Yeah. yeah. So, yes, like I said, um, it's the same for one as it is for 10. And if you buy Just four at a time, you can use the bundle. So underneath, oh, the, yeah, you um, get a discount, don't you? use the bundle down below, add it to cart, yeah. and you can choose the four that you want. The bundle's coming for, and so you can do two groups of four, or you can do... Um, well, that's a good idea, yeah. with the two extra. Yeah. Yeah. That's I a forgot good idea. to mention that. And good job. we have more pins coming. <gasps> I'm so excited! <laughs> Are we going to be working on them today? Um, yes, I wanted to work on them yesterday, nice. but I couldn't find them. So I have to send them to you. We got a friend who's an artist, and he's been designing some really cool. I pins. think you're gonna like. Them. I think you're gonna really like <laughs> them. So yeah, let's so, look forward. Look to this space. No, watch what's this the word? space. Watch this space. I'm like, why is that not making sense? <laughs> so Kylie Joe, do you want to get underway? I would love to. So I'm going to unbox my little million thanks kit. And what we're going to do, people, we're going to make one card of each kit and then swap. Yeah, okay. I think that'll be fun. Just to keep us all engaged. And what and I'm going to do. your kit. If you have a kit that you've got lying around. Yes, please. Craft along with us. Craft along with Sorry, us. Sorry, everyone. I'm going to just unwrap Ooh. my plastic. That's all I'm going okay, to do. I'll let okay. you do that. So I've got Evening Evergreen here. Sometimes I like to change the inks because I've got all of the inks. But if you're new to stamping... I think let's do the first one as... As is. As is. Yeah. Because we want to just show them yeah. how... Oh, sorry, I stole your scissors. You did steal my scissors. I'm a scissors stealer. <laughs> I'm just going to bring this down a little bit so you just don't see the top of my head only 
There we go. Let it stay this way. Can let this moment end. Teacup pin. What? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, see if you can guess. Think of ideas of what pins you want. A teacup pin, a little Beveragino pin might be very exciting, I right? I think so. It's time for a Beveragino. Does someone say Beveragino? So, the best thing with these kits is they come with destructions. Also known as instructions. I love a destruction. And then you can just follow along with these printed images as well. Can I just interrupt you for a moment? You can. I think I'm moving across to Fortado. Really? That's the coffee. That's the coffee. It's my coffee. Well, there's lots there, there so is. you need to help me drink them. I will. Janelle, <laughs> yes, this is a new kit. So this is one of the uh, latest ones that have come out. It's a brand new -y. There's another one which, you know, if we had time, it's yeah. called Kindness Matters. Yes, it's like and it's little coasters. coasters. Maybe it's that's a coaster another. card, isn't it? Yeah. That looks nice and simple, though. Yeah. I think it looks really Oh, my good. goodness. Mine is so cute. I know. <laughs> yours are really cute. I think the robot one's going to be the fave. Wow. It's oh. really cute. And it comes with a block. Yeah, mine comes with a block, too, which I'm very surprised with. It's the paper pumpkin ones that don't. Yeah. So, literally, if you are brand new to crafting, this is everything, this is you, everything need. you need. You might need some scissors and some adhesive, but you could use these. Yeah. Anyway. And it might leave a little bit of glue. Adhesive. 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 It's how our lovely friend Cheryl says adhesive. We say adhe adhesive. We say the H. Adhesive. The H is silent for Cheryl. Cindy, welcome to your favourite night of the week. <laughs> Have you got your beverage, no, Cindy? Have you got a beverage? So I'm going to start with this beautiful, I'd say it's Old Olive. Would you say this is Old Olive? I'd say that's Mossy Meadow. Ooh, I think you're correct. I'll go Mossy Meadow. And we need, we've got these beautiful already pre-embossed leaves there we need the thank you to be this one here and then we've got some is it this one citruses you're making? yes it so is. she's just looking at this um image here to tell us what what i need needs. where are my little citruses come here little citruses they're not in there maybe they're hidden in here somewhere hmm <gasps> Wow, they're cute. They're very cute. Everything always looks better in real life. Like, look how much bigger and amazing they look. So I need, so you can see here, it's got what you need here. So I need four limes, a couple of these lemons or oranges, and then the flowers. So let's pull all those out. And it's got... Oh, yeah, there's the dimensionals. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So the little dots here, if you're wondering what these are, just keep these here to the side because they're going to get lost very easy. So these little dots here are, are the, um, what are they called? Embellishments. <laughs> <laughs> what are those Dotty things? dots. These dots here are glue dots. So you can be a bit confused. And these ones here are dimensionals. So it could get a little bit confusing. You're like, what are these dots and what are these dots? But that is my, you know, tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm just, I'm assuming that that's what they are. Susan got her mug. Oh, you got your mug, Susan. She's got a full set now. <laughs> so exciting. I love having special mugs. Because I'm a mug. <laughs> mug shot. <laughs> Christine, can you please do the heart? Is the heart one in this? Yes, it is. Yes, we will get to that we one. We will do all of them. Yeah. So this part is for all the heart bit. So I've got to keep all them in there. And the other one that we need is that. That's it. Yes. Good. And then we've got the little dimmies and the little... So the only stamping that we need to do... Do you I'm mind getting me this. some 
<laughs> no, we'll just use the one that's open and we'll save this for a gift for someone. Even one of our beautiful customers the out there. I opened mine, sorry. Did ya? Yeah. Oh, I'll forgive ya. Not forgot mine. <laughs> so I need a thank you. I won't pull this off just for you. You can do that. Really? Would you like me? <gasps> Love that feeling. I feel like I've just waxed someone. You should have gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so these are, what, what are these types of stamps, Chloe? This is a photopolymer. Photopolymer. Or and so clear. how is that, um, like, would you, like, do you think they're easier to use? <gasps> yes, especially for words. Oh, I love a photopolymer. If it's a little bit wide, which it is a little bit wide, you can just angle it if you if you feel that it's not going to sit nicely. And see how I put it down on the desk and then grabbed it? That's just to make sure that it's sitting the way Flat, it should. Because yeah. these can move, which is handy, but sometimes they move when you don't want them to. So that's not so handy. So what I suggest, because this is a brand new stamp, we always suggest um, doing just a little stamp off. Oh, look at me already. These blocks here, I always end up getting ink all over me. That's how you know that you've had fun. I must have a big thumb. So there we go. I just do a little bit of a squish squish and just take off any residue that's on, on the stamp that way. And then we just come in here and I love that I can see through, I can see if everything's been inked up okay. And then I can also see through and see exactly where I'm going to be stamping, where it's going to go. And actually before I push down, I'm very close, but it's a good idea. You can either use, <clears throat> I'll actually use my grid paper pad. So if someone didn't have it, what could they use? Could they use that piece of cardboard that comes yeah, with it? Yeah, I reckon cardboard, just anything that's just got a little bit of cushion to it. So even if you really wanted to, you just have to be careful, but like a stack of these, just something to give it a little bit of something to sit on, a little base. All the envelopes, put all them together and stamp on top of that. Just something that gives it, yeah, just allows it to have a little bit more movement then. Ready? Go! And you push down, you don't wobble, newbies. You just push directly down. So I'm giving it pressure along all the side and then lift. And if it gets stuck like that, you just pull it off. Beautiful. And look at that beautiful font, would you? That is such a beautiful thank you. <gasps> I love it. So pretty, that font. And then all we're going to do now is just pop all of our little pieces behind. I am going to burnish my edge here because I can see it needs to be folded a little. And so what I'm going to do is we'll do a mixture of dimensionals and I think these are all blue dot. Well, I think it looks like these ones here are all dimensionals, which is interesting. And then the flowers are the glue dot. Mm. There you go. So included in the kit, and this can be a little bit confusing to some people, is these little dots here. They are your little glue dots, and this is your dimensionals. And how cute are these embellishments? They're the matte dots, even though they're not really that matte. They're non-matte dots. Hi, <laughs> Tiffany. Jesse Scott. Jesse Scott's in the house. Yes, you did miss the greatest showman sing along. You did. So if you wanted to, you could use your take your pick tool. If you don't have that, just use a pair of scissors and you want to turn your little piece around here and just pop that on top. All right. And then you're going to peel off the backing. So did you see what I did? Lift it off from the sheet. Put it on here, like so, and then we're going to peel that off again. There's another piece there. Do you all know that? 
a lot of people get very confused by these glue dots and of course you can just buy the Stampin' Up! glue dots. The normal glue dots are not like this at all because for some people these are like <gasps> soul destroying. They're like I hate them but if you don't have anything like you know if you have Tombow I would suggest using the multi-purpose glue or you know your stash will grow but when you're starting out, this is a great start out. It's a great start out. Because it's got everything you need in the kit and it keeps it cost effective. Because if they were to add, you know, glue in there or something else, then it's going to start getting a bit costly. And cost effective at 50% off is better than cost effective uh, at yes, normal price. Please. Now, I'm not sure about raising these up. So it what do you would think? work if that's raised up as well. Yeah. Well, but it says it, it is raised up. Yeah. Mm. So it'll be like that, and then we'll pop everything behind. All right, so we'll do that. We'll do what the kit's saying to do, and then you can just do whatever. But what I would do is have some of them, um, so see how on the on the destructions, how they're oh, all they're behind. Oh, they're all behind, yeah. I would I put think, some behind, some in front. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. It's a way to express my creativity. <gasps> Bruno! You're expressing your creativity. Yes. That's nice. It's different. Different. It's unusual. unusual. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hummer123, also known as Lucia from Connecticut. Hi. We love you too. Good day. Christine, yes, and then your hook. Yes, that's, what you're <laughs> that's how that's it works. That's what happened to us. <laughs> we all understand. The kit glue dots are awesome for sequins. That's good to know. Oh, that's a good one. Tess, hello. So there we are. We've got everything we need here now. So then it's just a, a case of compiling them. So I think for me, I think the easiest bit would be putting the sentiment down. Actually, they do say to do that first. So we're going to do that first. And then we can start compiling around it. So just sort of line it up, you can eyeball it where the centre is here. Good. Then we can start undoing the flowers. Actually, I might do the couple of these first. Agreed. Because, yeah. And you can follow exactly what they've got on the page if you're not sure of what to do. But I think what Bruno said is a really good idea. Above we'll and below, couple, yeah. We'll do a couple above. Then we'll grab one of our flowers. I'm just going to take that backing off there. See how now it's clear? So now it's sticky because I've taken that backing off. And that can come over here. Hi, Sally. Thanks for joining us. Aren't the kit mini dimmies a bit <coughs> higher? Than, yes, I agree. They, they are, are higher. Mm. Yeah. Hello, Kathy. Watching over on... Facebook. Donna from Bloomington, Illinois. Hello. Hi, Donna. There we go. Another flower. These flowers are super cute. They look so cute. nice on the mossy meadow background. Little limes. Are they limes? Yeah, they are limes. Mm. What do you like with limes, Bruno? Um, gin. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What cocktail did we do recently with limes? Can we do a cocktail with limes I recently? I don't know. I thought Jesse's um, Cosmopolitan had limes, didn't it? Oh, I did, yes. Does it? Yep. I thought a Cosmo had limes. That's Jessie's, one of Jessie's favourite drinks of all time. Cosmo. Because she's a sophisticated gal, that one. <laughs> Hi, Kathy from and Texas. Then she, Howdy. Um, and then she undoes that by having Prosecco. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Deb um, from Mid Michigan. Hello, Kathy from Cairns. I'm being a rebel. Look. <gasps> put a flower on there. Isn't that exciting? I'll put a flower over there. Yeah. Too. I mean, these are great. Like, even though there are directions. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. But I feel this is a little bit empty. Do you feel it's a bit empty? No. Looks all right. Yep. I like it. So there you go. We've done a card peeps. 
boom. boom. Just like that. And where did we put all our little dots? Where did they put their dots? Oh, just around here. So we'll do three of them, it says. So I'll take the one that's a little bit skew if here. The one that's giving me anxiety. Yeah, the one that's <laughs> like, what are you doing over there? I'm sure it's giving Charlotte anxiety as well. <laughs> Charlotte's like, no. Charlotte said before <laughs> yeah. that every time you put the stamp on the... <laughs> the block? The, um, the bench. Yeah. She, um, I can't remember exact words, but it was like, you give her anxiety. <laughs> It's like, she's going to lose it. <laughs> Is it because you think I'm going to lose it, probably, Charlotte? Yeah. Or you think I'm going to stamp the table? Yeah, bit of both, probably. <laughs> oh, look at that. Hi, Lizzie. I really, really like that. Tess got a job this summer. Well I'd done. be very happy if I received this I would this be card. very happy if you received, if you received that. <laughs> 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 Good. Okay, your turn, Bruno. So, what we can do now, I don't want to micromanage, but can you put everything back in the box? <gasps> That's a very good idea. You're an <laughs> ideas man, aren't you? <laughs> You're full of great ideas. Full You're of full something. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Dearie me. <laughs> so, that can just sit in there. And these can sit in here. And don't worry, we're going to be doing the other ones. We're just um, swapping over for the time being at this light stage. There we go. <laughs> Do you like my block with the sentiment still on there? I love it. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, mm. sorry. Knocked you all. So, hello, everybody. How Hi, are you? Mr. Batucci. So this is the Robot Buddies um, kit, um, kit and this could be your 50% off one or it could be your full price one. So I, all I've done is I've unwrapped the plastic and I've unwrapped this part of the plastic as well. And let's have a look at what we have in here. Can't wait to see this one. I've been very excited about the robots. I've been very excited about this one too. So there's the destructions. Ooh. <laughs> um, it's instructions, Yes, Bruno. I know. <laughs> so there is some stamping. There is some pre-cut pieces. Christine, go and open it now and do it with us. So, hey, Kylie. <gasps> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Donna, Donna, did you like my um my Shout impersonation out. of Dawn, your mum? <laughs> <laughs> did you miss that? <laughs> so we have some beautiful envelopes. Oh, cute. And look, I think that this is the sort of thing, like always remember, kids love to craft. So if you have children or grandchildren, like mm. this is the perfect gift. Like while it's 50%, this would be a really great gift. Buy one and buy one for your grandkids. Buy one for you. Do one it together. For your grandkids. Yeah, do it together. Yeah. That would be fun. So they're the stamp, the card bases, and look, there's three different types. Oh, yeah, look at they're the little beautiful clouds. designs. This one's my favourite. Yeah. Um, some clouds, some. I was going to say flowers, but they look like gears. Oh yeah. Because it is a robot. It is a robot. Yeah. I am a robot. Are you? Here's some cardstock. So there'd be, I'd say this is where the stamping will happen. Here are some die cut pieces. Are they die cut pieces or stickers? They're stickers. stickers. Oh my goodness. Wow. My so how much easier is that yeah. going to be for kids? No glue dots. No, well, they're, they're no glue dots, but there are some sentiment pieces here. But you'd just use dimensionals on them, hey? You'd use dimensionals for that. Love it. Because it comes with dimensionals. Thanks, Stampin' Up. That's and really this, smart. And this, look at these cute, cute, cute oh, googly them. eyes. Are oh, they they're googly? googly eyes. No. Yeah. They're googly eyes. They're Can you hear that? They're googly eyes. Oh, my goodness. And it comes with two colours to do the stamping. So, oh, yeah. So this Nourish and Flourish kit we just bought, didn't we? It's not available yet ah, for customers. That's exciting. I love all these and kits. And that's not one of the kit kits. Right. That's a special kit. A special kit. Ooh. We will. We can't show you any images of it yet because we don't have it physically now. Yeah. So let's do card number one. 
Oh my okay. goodness, that is so cute. So the stamp that we are going to be using is the one that says, let's be friends. No, how does a robot say it? Let's be friends. Did you rip it off and then put it back on again? No. How, how did that sheet of paper, plastic get back on again then? Oh yeah, I did put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> the plastic, I'm like, yes. <laughs> Oh, I was such a rebel. <laughs> had so, had so I took anxiety. it off and then I had to put it back on. So we have this. This is the one that we're going to use. And so we're going to stamp that using Bermuda Bay. Mm -hmm. And then the rest is sticker pieces. This is really good, this kit. I'm loving that kit. So you have a piece of cardstock where you assemble the stickers and then stick the, the um, sentiment. So that's pretty simple. That's brilliant. So let's just first of all um, stamp the follow, following the destructions. <laughs> we will just stamp the sentiment. Nice. Nice. So one thing that you can do is if you um, are concerned about losing things, mm. you can just leave that on there until you need it. I do like it on that um, black piece, uh, the cardboard piece. I think that would work well. Yeah, if you don't have anything, yeah, that would be perfect. Yeah, and it would keep your work surface. Yeah, clean. Clean. So I think that's okay. Yeah, I think it's great. I'm gonna do that. You can all see that, yeah. Let's be friends. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness! That is the best font ever. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp all three. Love that. And while I'm off screen next, while Kylie's crafting, I will make the other ones. Because this is... Yeah, I'm doing the other, because I'm like, I want to do all of them. So I'm doing, because in the kit you get, like I did that one, but you get another two of them. So I'm doing the other two of them. And you can even do a few yeah, alternatives the using, Ooh, yeah, using the same pieces. Yeah, I like that so idea. that's it. That is literally all the stamping. And so um, if you are new for crafting, new to crafting, this is something really good that can really whet your appetite about um, getting involved in crafting. And you don't need a lot of stuff for this. You literally need the kit. I mean, after this one you here, do the kit, you'll, you'll we'll be get to that everything. later. <laughs> but literally, this kit here... <laughs> You do not need anything no. else. You could just use Nothing that. else. Yeah. So, let's assemble this cute little robot. <laughs> so, we have this piece here and that head. So, let's put that down. So, it's not even stamping. Nope. That's amazing. You could stamp if you wanted to make it a bit more challenging because we do have the robot pieces there. That's good. There's, I think there's yeah, stamping on the that one. Yeah, stamping on the next one. Yeah. So that's literally that's very cool. a stick down. And this one is a stick down. <laughs> I am talking like a robot. And the other piece is this one here which is that body and that head. <laughs> you thought you'd be on a YouTube video saying that body and that head. <laughs> I feel like Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> and there are all these other stickers, which I would say you don't use all of them on the suggested cards. So you can use whatever you want, really. Just do that. So we'll pop that out and then pop that on some dimmies. What are dimmies? Dimensio and Arlies. Wow. So just turn crazy. that over. Crazy You're girl. You're crazy girl. <laughs> do you store your spots upside down? Um, we don't. They stay in the kits the really, don't they? Yeah. Because we have all the colours anyway, we don't... But it is a good idea. It's a very good it. idea. Yeah. I was like, it's actually That's a really a very good, good idea. idea. <laughs> it's very smart. Thanks, Megan. <laughs> and why would you store them upside down? So, good 
good question. So mm. if you store it like that, when you put ink in it, it will gravity will make it fall to the the bottom. So if you store it upside down, then gravity will make the ink at the surface of the ink pad. Like good that. question, Megan. Yeah. And so what's next on the destructions? So they encourage us to put some dimensionals on this piece. They say four. I will say four plus another four. <laughs> Which Megan was that? Lekwani. Oh, Lakoni. Oh, hi, Megan. How are you feeling today? Megan's not feeling well. She's got the um, spicy cough. Spicy cough? Yeah. Big hugs to you, but she's doing good the last time we spoke. Oh, good. Which was last night, wasn't it, Megan? Ah, oh, I didn't get the card base of this one. So which card base are we using? It's the one with the gears on it. So, yeah, they said four. I used one, two, three, four, Who's five, they? six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 11, 12, 13. I used 13. 13? You mentioned <gasps> Oh my goodness, I missed that. <laughs> you are the dimensional. You win hands down. I'm sorry, there is no competition. Judy What's Four Judy? equals 12 to Bruno. <laughs> 13, actually. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> there is no one like you. The first time I looked across, I remember Bruno was crafting, just new to crafting, and it was probably the first time I was letting him craft. And I just looked across and no joke, there was half of my dimensional sheet on his card. And I literally like gasped, didn't you I? You officially I was lost like, the plot. Yeah, I was like, what are you doing to my dimensionals? So then unpeel the dimensionals and stick the card on the this piece onto the card base. Like so. And there we have the card, my friend. Are you serious? You're done already. I'm done already. Ah! I am so impressed. Do you want me to move you. on to the next one? Yeah, sure. Why not? You're on a roll. Well, and, I'm, and I'm enjoying this one over here. So look at this, people. Look at it. Look at it. How cool is that? That is really cute. And that's great for all ages. I can see now why that would be really good to do with kids. So, are you sure I can keep yeah, going? Yeah, because I'm having fun over here. I don't want you to um, be... Oh, that's okay. These are relatively easy, so I should be able to do those as well. So, for card number two, we have this card base, which is very nice. We need a piece of the resistance. <laughs> I'll we need a piece of, piece of resistance. <laughs> the cardstock. We need one of the sentiment pieces. We need some of these stickers, I think. Yes, that sticker there. We need some of the ties and things. And we need the stamp set. So let's do that. This is the stamp set that we need. It says, um, I'm going to use a different sentiment. You probably are all aware we don't celebrate birthdays. So I'll just use the same sentiment. Let's be friends. That's roughly the same size. So that's no problem. We don't ever want to get old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, going to pretend I'm still a baby. <laughs> card number two. So first of all, let's stamp the sentiment. And which sentiment piece? So it's this big piece here. Excuse me. So they want us to stamp that in pumpkin pie. She's my pumpkin pie. Oh dear. <laughs> Let's be friends. And the good thing about these... Um, using the small ink um, spots is that you are less likely to have an incident. Incident! I love an incident. Like Kylie did <laughs> with <laughs> ink on fingers. <clears throat> yeah. 
I'm bound to have an incident though. I'm such a messy crafter. <laughs> I'm a messy cook and a messy crafter. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to, you probably saw me use this. This is a chamois. <clears throat> also the chamois. Wow. wow. <laughs> um, you can use anything. You can use baby wipes. You can use... Mm -hmm. What else if you don't have baby wipes, Collie Joe? Um, micro. Micro cloth. cloth, a sponge. Sponge. Yeah. So we need the head piece. And so I'll just add that to the blockage. And I'll do that um, suggestion that. Do you get double commission on dimensionals? <laughs> no, I always make a joke that that's how we earn all the trips. Not true. <laughs> that's not true. But it is funny. <laughs> that's another way to apply ink if it's a bigger piece like that. Um, oh, you're getting a bit loud over there. So where do we... Oh, that's very cute. You're going to love this alternative that Kylie oh, just made. I'm very happy with that. So this is, so we apply the head, actually, I'm going to be a rebel and I'm going to stamp the body first. You're a rebel without a cause. Well, you do have a cause. So I'll just apply some of the inkage. I feel like there's so much drama happening over there. You would expect nothing less. <laughs> it's all so dramatic. <laughs> so it is a bit um, splotchy. So that's the good thing about having a clear block. So you can see where the ink has been. Um, I might just grab the pumpkin pie. Uh, this one. Oh, it is very splotchy, isn't it? Did you do the smushing? I did. Ah. So you you see it resisting the ink. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. So according to the the um, diagram, we just stamp that. First, oops, got my finger on that one. It's all right. We'll cover the cover it with the uh, with the head. <clears throat> you need to calm down. You're being too loud. Really? Okay. Just um, singing a song. Kylie Batucci, maybe Bruno could explain. So, yeah, Kylie explained that earlier, Charlotte, that um, it's the ink smushy was to um, take off the residue. Take off any residue off new stamps. Which hopefully stops it from resisting like that. But it could be a combination of the ink and the new stamp. That's cute. You're cute. Mm. He's a little cutie pie. You're a little cutie pie. <laughs> so we've done the middle robot. I am a robot. Oh, I was missing the robot. What's the robot's name? Johnny. <laughs> Obsessed much? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> You didn't even realise no. what you were saying. That's so funny. You have been oversensitised. So the next piece <laughs> I'm going to do is this one here, which is the robot body. And I'll just use the Bermuda ink pad. Bermuda. Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. So again, I'm just going to do a couple of 
these swooshes to get rid of any residue that's on there. Swooshy swooshes. And I'll stamp Mr. Bermuda Bahama robot over here. didn't plan that very well. It's off center. I'm sure you'll forgive me, everybody. Yep. What song are you going to sing? Please forgive me. No, I was going to say, too late to apologize. <laughs> This is an upbuilding face. channel. <laughs> and there's my second one. Wow. You can really dance. You're going to love this, everybody, what, what Kylie's doing over there. I'm very happy with those alternatives. It's a bit fun doing It's an alternative. Alternatives. Okay. When I was little, I had a remote control robot named Robert. Robert. That's so cute. I feel like, what's the Futurama robot? What's his name? They're all robots on Futurama. But there's one in particular one that hangs out with them all. Excellent. So, what else do we have to do on this now? We've got a couple of... Now, Bender. That's right. So you can see on this, we've got some, we've got a heart, a sticker that we can put on his heart. That's cute. Bender bending Rodriguez. It's interesting. <laughs> Someone's a bender, <laughs> and his alias is BB Rodriguez Collier Ty 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 Anglesmith Ramblin Rodriguez. So then on this one, we can use some of these pieces. Oh, there's two sizes. I didn't realize that. Um, I keep on losing scissors. There you go. I'll let you have mine. I probably stole them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a small... Wally! Wally's a good one. <clears throat> wow, these are really sticky. Oh my goodness, this is really cute. This is very cute. <laughs> And the other one is, oh, this is a girl robot because it has a bow on the head. Oh, yes. They're really sticky. <laughs> They're not going anywhere, hey? <laughs> and the other one is this one. Cutage. And any other stickers? Uh, just the little bow. So we'll have an orange bow. Where's an orange bow? There it is. How many stickers are on there? Heaps. Yeah, I reckon you end up with lots left over. <clears throat> and if, like I mentioned, you could just destroy, decorate. <laughs> What's that word? <laughs> you could decorate using any of these if yeah. you want. And so the last thing that we are encouraged to do is add the, um, so we'll add some dimensionals to this. And a little speech bubble. And the speech bubble. Am I on the screen? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'll only do six on this one. No, you can't no, help yourself. I'll do eight. I'm like, there's no way you're going to six. So we'll just fold this in half. This is probably the most complicated one in this kit. 
because it has the stamping on it. But you could use, you could replace this if you weren't comfortable with stamping or if the kids weren't comfortable with stamping, you could just pick some of the other robot, robot pieces, pieces yeah. and use those. Yeah. Because you certainly have a lot. Yeah, there's a lot over. there. Is there one sheet of stickers? Two or? sheets of stickers. <gasps> Two sheets? Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. It's not brilliant. It's Brillo Pad. <laughs> so depending on what age the child is, you can yeah. work out whether they can do the stamping or not. Or you could get them to use all the stickers and you can do all the stamping. Yeah. That's really cool. And let's just pop that up on some dinnies. Is there anyone, um, <laughs> stop it, Megan, you forgot the bow tie. Bow tie? <laughs> let's do the bow tie. Oh, of course I did. Thanks, Megan. Thanks, Megan. Um, is there anyone crafting along? Has anyone got their kits out? I hope so. And I always find it as a good rule of thumb for me personally that once I open a kit, then I need to do the whole thing in that sitting. Because if I put it back, not finished, that's so cute. And even though it's off center, I off centered that to yes. sort of balance it out. So it looks like it was planned. Yep. <laughs> you totally planned Tight. to be off center. And so I can add that to. Look at that. That is Isn't so excited? cute. Oh, my goodness. Actually, I'll put a bow on him to... Yeah. Should to I put hide. a bow? Or what else can I put? A screw? One of those... Where are you going to put it? Over that to hide that little piece. Oh, yeah. yeah or a, a star. Star. Mm. Oh, yeah, that looks cute. <laughs> that looks Stickers like a cover a multitude of sins. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> so I'm going to move over and let my lovely wife onto the screen to continue her stamping. How excitement. Stamping journey. So I will take this and this and this and leave that. Okay. Thank Don't you, Kylie. You, thank you. Do you mind making me another beverage? I'd love to. I'd love another coffee. I'll just move over here so that it doesn't lift up the whole desk like last time. The eyes freak me out, Christine said. <laughs> well, robots are a little bit scary. The eyes have it, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> so let me show you what I did as my little extra prototypes here. So these ones, so the first one that we did together was this one here. So that was ex copying exactly what they had in the destructions. <clears throat> but I came up with this one, which I really love it. It's I love how it's nice. sort of cascading and you can see them a little bit better. And, yeah, I kind of balanced out because I do love to do sort of Fibonacci type. I don't like things being too even on one side. So you can see that I've sort of balanced out how many pieces. And this one here, I did a landscape one. So, yeah, it's like as if it's coming along the side. And I think that looks really good, that one. Looks lovely. And, yeah, yeah just place it similar to this one, but I've just done it landscape. So, yeah, what do you think of those ones? Something, you know, you can still challenge yourself. It wasn't sort of overwhelming to just do it, the layout a little bit different but don't feel like you have to stick with the exact same thing as what's in the book but it wasn't too difficult to do either so good thank you Judy I'm glad you enjoy that so we're going to <clears throat> do this beautiful heart the second one in our kit which is the million thanks a million thanks is all it's going to take. Oh, a million thanks for the world we're going to make. So it's got that beautiful <laughs> background Carly's there. Carly's like moving right along. No, I love it. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. 
You know, we love to hear you sing. I'm just like not making a big deal. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so you keep singing. But if I said, oh, keep singing, it would not. Not singing anymore. True? Yeah, exactly true. true. So, yeah, whatever. Are you singing again? Shush. <laughs> we've got our heart here. And we've got some pieces that are going to go on top of these. <clears throat> and the sentiment piece that we need in our little kit is not those big ones we need these flowers and that green piece here they are we need these banners so I'll pull all those out make sure that I've got oh yeah I've got a piece here so I'll do a couple of the stamping of the sentiment so that they're ready to go and we're going to use this one and all these flowers. So that's good, nice and easy, that one. And a million thanks, but we could do, what else would fit in here? I think that's the only one that would fit that sentiment. The thank you is clearly too big, so. But you could use a different sentiment from a different set if you didn't want thanks. I just peeled the dimensional back and then dropped the sentiment on the floor. Oopsie. And it's stuck to the ground. Oopsie. Don't you love it when you drop a dimensional and it sticks to the floor? It's like when you drop toast. Why does toast always drop on the side that you've spread everything on? I'm sure there's a scientific face reason down. for it. <laughs> I'd say it's the heavy amount of butter that I use on my Vegemite toast. <laughs> it's like, yep, yeah, I'm going to fall down, face down. Boom. Face down. <laughs> so again, I'm just putting the <laughs> sentiment on the lying it down flat just so that I can pick it up straight. Because otherwise these sentiments very easily get skew if. Patricia, it is beautiful, isn't it? It's a million thanks. A million thanks. That's the kit. It's, it's a new one. New. And I wouldn't normally go for these darker greens, but I think using it with a pink, I really, it's very, very on trend at the moment, this sort of colour. And I do, I'm not a pink girl either, and I'm not a dark green girl, but when I see this combo, it just, yeah, they sort of soften one another and make each other happy. Now, I think I've got that pretty much... Let's have a little look here. I've got a lot of reflections happening here. Reflections of. <laughs> Where life used to be. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And it's good that you get a few. Oh, thank you. It's good that you get a few extras. So it sort of takes away the, um, the stress a bit. But yeah, just be careful if you're using these blocks, just be careful of putting ink like we saw on Bruno's one. It, it very easily can happen. So try and keep your fingers out of the ink. I mean, if you're using the little spots, you have less chance of getting ink all over you, which is good. And then we come in there, come down lower, push down, just not too much, but you just want to make sure that you're not wobbling. That looks good. I'm very happy with number two. And again, with your block, you want to be careful that you're not wobbling when you're inking. And then take your time. Cheese wisely. And then come in and just give it a little bit of pressure there and lift up. Oh, what do we do here? Well, this is the beauty of see-through. We'll try and line that up, but if we can't, all good. We can just use one of the, the other ones. So all that happened is I just didn't lift it down a bit. Ah, that's very good. Well done, Kylie. Good save. I couldn't have got any closer. That's the cool thing. That is a perfect example of why 
polymer clear is the best ever. Because <laughs> you can come back and fix it. <laughs> it is a little bit crooked, that one, though, but that's okay. It, it's fine. Only keen observers would look at it, and if you've got a friend that is trying to look for your mistakes, you need to get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have them in your life. <laughs> They should be very appreciative and love the fact that you've thought of them. <laughs> so here we go. Pull all those out. <laughs> You're not expecting that one, Bruno. No. <laughs> now, a cool thing to do with these background pieces is that you can also use our brushes to do, use an outline. Maybe this one might not be too easy because these pieces will fly away. Um, but these little pieces here, like the little flowers and things like that, you could use this with sponging, put it in the background. Now these pieces here, we've got the heart, which is going to be dimensionalized. The um, backing, we're going to do some glue dots. And the hearts, uh, the flowers are all going to be dimensionalized as well. So we'll pop on the all these beautiful flowers to begin with and you could sort of offset it a little bit if you wanted to sort of have that 3d background you know just something a little bit different hi samantha hi <laughs> yeah we're so tough on ourselves i think we're like oh, i've made a mistake that's it can't send it like i've heard of people even throwing their cards in the bin and it breaks my heart it's like who would be that like critical of your work other than ourselves like what is someone going to get a card and go oh bruno's done it crooked again how dare he send me a crooked card it's like no people are just going to be like it's handmade oh my goodness i love it someone's thought of me <laughs> i matter to someone so yes, sent and received is better than not sent at all or in the bin. So remember that when you get things a little bit. Remember that. Skew if. And look at me. I'm doing skew if on, pur on purpose. <laughs> Charlotte's Charlotte's twitching. <laughs> She's like, Kylie, what are you, why are you off-centering them? <laughs> I do like to be different. I like the fact that there's a beautiful background and like the idea of covering them makes me sad. So. Darling. Yes, darling. Can I please have the ShamWow? You may. Is it in the top drawer? It is. There you go. T-Y-G. T-Y. <laughs> These are so cute. So cute. And then I actually really like them offset like that. I think they look really cool. What do you think? Kelly, yesterday I accidentally put sentiment on front upside down from how the card opens but sent it anyway yeah <laughs> i love that kelly i've <laughs> think, done that I numerous think, times yes yeah, so i think that's a really fun thing we need that we, and we need a laugh like at the end of the day someone's going to get it and go oh my goodness you just made me feel so much better about myself because who hasn't done that we've all done that it's like you're making me feel human now, I'm going to cheat here because, you know, I highly recommend getting Tombow. I was going to do the dots and I'm like, nah, I'm finished with the dots now. <laughs> I'm going to use, use my beautiful green glue because it's my fave. And you can pop a couple of dots on these, but I'm not too fussed because I don't mind them coming off the card a little bit. I'm not going to wrestle with the dots you win dots you win 
Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. Look at this, Bruno. Wow. That's very nice. This is very nice, isn't it? So these have dimensionals as well. Oh, sorry. And the, does the sentiment have a dimensional? I think they've stuck it down. Hmm. It doesn't say what they used for the sentiment, but we can have a, we can have a look and see what looks best. We have to make a decision, people. <laughs> oh my goodness, what have I got to do? You love your pins, Christina. Oh, I'm so glad. That's brilliant. Did they arrive this week? When did you get them? Which ones did you get? Did you get the um, plant or the love it, chop it? Which one did you get? Okay. <laughs> we do love to love it, chop it. I love to love it, chop it. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. So I think I'm going to do it along there because I don't want it to cover up too much of those beautiful flowers there that we've just put there. And I think <clears throat> it would actually be nice just to stick it down flat. I'm going to stick it on top of those flowers. So we don't need a huge amount of Tombow, but it's going to sit along there. Maybe a little bit here. And that's all I'm going to need. But you could, again, go higher. But I think there's enough height with the heart and the flowers that having something sit down will be a nice finish because look at all that height <laughs> it's a lot of height yes isn't that nice and then we'll add a couple of I think they've only got two of the dots and they've randomly placed them they've <laughs> can you see where they've placed them oh no that's the glue dots actually that's where they the glue dots are put there so yeah there's no um dimensional the little black dimensionals in this one which is I think that's good. I don't think they ne it needs it. Yeah, the little embellies. So what do we think of that one? I love it. I think that that heart is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I like Teresa. You can make a mega dimmy by using a big circle punch with a foam sticky sheet. I love it. Yes, I keep hearing that in the UK, if you have two levels of dimension, yeah, here in Australia, it becomes a parcel. So if we have it too high, all of a sudden it would cost, what, $8 to As post. long as it's two <laughs> centimetres. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, Susan. I don't like green, especially a dark green like this. I'm normally a green girl, but not this type of green. But with the pink and those soft, subtle colours, it's amazing how it changes it. Stampin' Up! have done a very good job of all the colouring here. So I think Bruno's still going, so let's do the last one. Do you want to? Yeah. And you can enjoy yourself over there because you're on your complex card. It's a bit complicated. Why do you have to go and make things so complicated? <laughs> See the way you're... The other night Bruno was making kombucha. We love our kombucha here in this household. If you haven't tried kombucha, it's a lot of fun. Bruno's been doing kimchi. We've been doing a lot of fermentation in this house. It's a fermentation house. <laughs> but um, he was making the kombucha the other night, and he and I said, um, no, you said, oh, the tea. No, you said, oh, good, the tea's gone cold. And then I replied, I'm wondering why I got out of bed at all. And he looked at me like, what? And I'm like, oh, how could you miss that cue? So simple. But, yeah, I think you were focused on the recipe. Yes, you were focused on making the kombucha. You weren't in the zone. I was not zoning. You were not in the song zone.
Bruno. Yeah. I'm seriously grateful for you. Really? Yeah. Why do you say that? Because. I have a stamp set up. <laughs> yeah. I can tell when Bruno's like reading a sentiment. He's like, Kylie, you are the most amazing human being. <laughs> what was one of the. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the world to me. <laughs> I'm like, are you reading sentiments again? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> so if, if you need some, like, um, words of affirmation from your husband to say, can you just go to my stamp room and just read out sentiments to me? <laughs> you mean the world to me. <laughs> I'm so grateful for you. <laughs> I'm seriously grateful for you. Where's my inkages gone? Inky, inky, stinky. Oh, there it is. Found it. Everyone can stop looking now. Brenna said he'll never tire of that. Because I literally sit on the couch. And he's like, have you seen my phone? No, what do you say? Metaphone kahahe. <laughs> Where is my phone? <laughs> he has to say it in Hindi when he's looking for his phone. And I just stay on the couch. And then when he finds it, I go, oh, good. I can stop looking now. Hi, Sharon Young from New, Jer New Jersey. But I literally haven't moved from the couch. <laughs> yes, this is a new kit, Janelle. Can you please do the hot one? Yes. Which Are you one? doing the hot one now? Yeah, I've finished oh, the hot one. Hi, Siri. This is the heart one. Weird watching you lag behind. Oh, sorry, it's lagging. It did this the other day. I know. It's restarting. I know. It was so random. That's when I was like, oh, have I lost you all? Are you all still here? Are you all still there? <laughs> yeah, they are. It was really weird. I was like, what is going on? Bruno Batucci, you're my number one. Thank you. <laughs> you really are. I'm seriously grateful for you. Hi, Donna from Bloomington, Illinois. I feel like the other one was a little bit crooked, but this one seems a bit better. It's so bizarre, isn't it? How many um, files Ooh. do you have open in Photoshop? Well, you know, just 50. They've all been saved as recovered files. Ugh. So annoying. Penny, you're not late. It's okay. Come anytime. Anytime. No such thing as late with us. It's just we're happy you're here. <laughs> and that's all our stamping. Isn't that fun? I'm seriously grateful for all of you being here. Thanks for following us. Seriously. Thanks for your likes. And thanks for We've got 42 likes today. And thanks for the follows. And thank you for the music, the songs you're singing, Bruno. Oh, dear. We watched ABBA the other night. We really want to see ABBA. We want to go to the UK. All you UK girls, oh, my goodness, we would be at ABBA, the first one. I think I would be happy to pay $10,000. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> All right, exaggeration. I might maybe pay $500. I think that would be my limit. But I'd do anything to see them, even in... Like avatars. 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 <laughs> avatars. Avatars. Oh, that's cute. Is that what they're calling them? Yes. <laughs> that's cute. So this one's very simple. Look at this, people. I'm almost done this one. And I love this background that looks like ribbon. It it's does look like ribbon. Yeah, it's teaching us what we can do with our ribbon. So you can actually do it a little bit skew if to make it feel a little bit more ribbon like. That's Bruno using the Shemwow. 
this cleaning all his stamps over there because he's Mr. Organization. You know how there's that, um, the Shark Tank? There's Mr. Wonderful. Who are you? Are you Mr. Dimensionals or are you Mr. Organization? You choose. I think I would go for Mr. Organization. Mr. Organized. Yeah, I'm going to call you Mr. Organized now. Well, that was very simple, wasn't it? Is that it? Yeah, look at that. I'm Done. Ready. That's all right. I'll do another one of them because they were really fun. Because they're pretty simple. So has everyone um, look, listened to the new Abba songs? We've already sang them for them. I love them though. Maybe there's someone else that's just caught up with all the new Abba songs. Who's from Ipswich? Oh, Kay. Hi, Kay. I have to say, I love the new one. Um, is it I still have faith in you or I have faith in you? I'm going to do it sure. on the angle. I still have faith in you. I tell you what, they look so good. Like we were looking at all the old ABBA songs. Bruno was a bit disturbed by some of the old ABBA songs. It's like, really? Did they sing that? Whoa. Couldn't sing that now. <gasps> But, um, yeah, they weren't young. They looked like they were in their mid-30s when they first came out. I like it on the angle, to be honest. Look at that. To be honest. Looks great. Yeah. I, pref I think it looks more natural on the angle. And when I'm using these type of um, embellishments, I like to have one and then two. That's how I always like to do them. Or I do two, two, and then another one. So usually three, five, or seven dots in case you aren't sure of what to do. Now, just with this one here, while Bruno's finishing that. It's super simple, that one. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? Um, I think it would be nice with this one. Like, you could have your heart. So maybe we can do a bit of surgery with this one. Have it maybe off-centre. I was going to say we could even chop it. <gasps> Love it, chop it. So we'll Penny do... loves Abba. Oh, we all love Abba, don't we? Is there someone who doesn't love Abba? I don't think I've met someone who doesn't love Abba. How long did you guys practice stamping? For this project today, Tessa? We did not Zero. practice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fun bit about kits. <laughs> you just open them up and go, Wee! <laughs> But um, if you're talking in all, of all time, how long have we been stamping for? Well, um, guess what? I'm finished. Woo -woo. Well, that's excitement. I'm very excited. So what I'm going to do in this one is I'm going to leave off the, the leaves. I'm not going to have them. I'm just going to have the heart. And then I'm going to have a bit of fun here. I'm going to analyse how to do the next one. Ooh. The last robot. Ah, cute. Is it cute? Yeah. Oh, you stamp on the card. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And then we've got our sentiment here all ready to go. So I'm going to do something like this. Off the side, I think that looks good. So we're just going to put a dimensional here. 
and then the other side we're going to stick it down to the heart because we want it to be balanced. Yeah, so I think like that. Yep, that's happy. And then we're going to bring in, I'm just literally making this up as I go. This could be a fail, but I think even if we just left it like that, it would be good. But I want to bring in some of these pieces too. And you don't have to use all of them, but I'm going to pull them all out so that I can work out what I want to do here. So I think something like that. What do you think, Bruno? Do you like that? Wow. You can really dance. Wow. Angie said, yes. I loved them before Mamma Mia, but loved them even more after. My theme song is Take a Chance on Me. <laughs> That's all I ask of you, honey. <laughs> I think it scares me the dates. I think it scares the dates away, though, a little too much at the first meal. Well. What is that? Oh, the dates. Oh, yeah. A little too much at the first meet. <laughs> <laughs> Things have changed since then. <laughs> How long have we been married, Kylie? We're coming up to 19 years this 19 year. 19 years this year, yes. Wow. JD asked that. No, I'm going to do it like that. Good. I feel that's a little more even. Like it feels like it's more. Take a chance on it, Kylie. Yeah, I think I like that. How long have y'all been, been married? Been married. Yes. Y'all. I love y'all. Y'all. And I'm, I mean, you guys are probably laughing because you think our accent's like really strong. We follow this um, guy who, where's he from, Bruno? Which one? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, Australian animals. This is an echidna. <laughs> uh, this is a wombat. on TikTok. Um, What's his name? I don't know his name. He's from Texas. <laughs> He's from Texas, yeah. isn't he? He's like, y'all do things different in Australia. <laughs> what did he call one of the animals last night? This is a... <laughs> Emu. I don't know. No, it was so... And the way he pronounced it was so funny. <laughs> I really like that. I think that looks good. So this is the original. I feel like this second one is more me. Clean... It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. Different, unusual. And you can add your little dotty dotties too if you wanted to. Okay, so now we're back to Bruno. It's your show, Bruno. It's my show and I'll cry if I want to. <laughs> it's my show and I'll cry. How do I get so messy? You're like I literally, messy. it's like a crafter mouth. It just goes... All comes out everywhere, like everywhere. But I do like having. I think it's a really good idea having a box mm. anytime I craft, and then everything can go in the box, so that it's easier. Then I can slowly unpack everything from the box. Do you think that's a good idea? Yes, it's a great idea. Gosh, thanks for humouring me. Well, here's my um. Box of goodies. Ooh. Ready for the next. Who wants to see my cards that I made while yes. I was sitting over there? I want to see. So, first of all, I think this was the Ridge. Was that the Ridge? Yep, the sticker one. Oh, no, that's... No, that's different. Ooh. The original was just the two robots no, together. No, the three. So, that's the original. That was stamped when I saw it last. My, ah, no, that's not the original. That's the that's alternative. The alternative. Whoa. So the original is this one. That's right. Yeah. What? Am I right? 
That's the Aridge. Yeah. Richie Ditch. Richie Ditch. Here is option number one. Oh, that's cute. Oh, so I, I like the, the stickers. Yes. And option number two, also landscape. Oh, that's cool. No, that's a different one again. No, it's oh, just... that's that one. Okay. But this shows like there's leftover stamps. There's a lot of stickers. Well, I mean stickers, yeah. so you can make them whatever. Like this one here is not used on any of the um, samples. Mm. So um, it looks like they're on the conveyor belt. This one here, you can use different coloured ones. So it's really cool. I love that. And it's good for different age groups. Yes. Skill levels. And so in terms of the stickers, like this is, I've used all of the stickers for the projects and there's still lots left. Wow. So if you wanted to not do any stamping, like if your kids are really young and you wanted to just um, use stickers, you could mm. you could cover the whole lot with stickers instead of stamping. Amazing. So anyway, that's the first one. The second one, I'll just put them back in the envies. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Organised. Second one is it's the green one, so I think it's this one. No, the Bermuda base. So this is the Aridge. No, it's not the Aridge. No, the original had the star. There she is. She had a star on her head to That's hide right. the. So this was the original. The middle one. This is the just a, a alternative, and so you can see that the. Oh yeah, you've I swatched. switched the places. Oh, that's I've added cool. a few stickers. <clears throat> here is the third. Oh, and then that means you can put your sentiment in the middle. Oh, and then you've just done a two one. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit random. I know. <laughs> I'm just like. Um... <laughs> What's the star covering, Bruno? <laughs> Did you just see that and go? Yes, I did. I'm like, um, <laughs> why did I put that there? I, there was a circle oh, there, was a there, circle there. And so okay. I was like, oh, maybe that's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> moving right along, let's make the third card. <laughs> that's funny. They're really cute. Thanks so, for the um different, yeah, different ideas too. So on this one, it comes pre printed on and so on the instructions we basically stamp the head then stamp the body and then the sentiment so let's just stamp the head and the body so what I've done is I've put um, on this side I've put the body and on this side I've put the head so I can stamp them all brilliant why not? Why not? Because I can. Because I can. Because I can. Can. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very happy with my cards. I think I'll do my last part. Oh. That's all right. It's polymer. Go back in. I did it. Ah, don't step again. Oh. You just go back in. You don't re-stamp. And then you have less chance of having any, like, yeah. When that when that happens, that's what I do. Yeah. It's because I didn't have the thing underneath. Yeah, it makes a difference. <gasps> good save. It's not bad. That is actually very good. No, you've done well. But yeah, Let's I just go in. I go in without re-stamping. No, that's seriously is perfect. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, Jasper wants attention. What a surprise. Bella's are here in her her bed looking so cuddly. And it's on an angle too. Sorry, I just bumped. Okay, sorry about that everyone. Okay, that's good. So I'll just turn that over and stamp the head.
And I found that if you just offset the head a bit, that allows room for the bow tie. <laughs> Can you see what I did? <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Can you all see what I did? What did you do? <laughs> Just was, oh just was here to show you all his pajamas. Oh, the head's upside down. Yes. <laughs> so, can you all see Jasper? Look at his pajamas. He's got little teddy bears on the bottom too. Yeah, I love you too, Jasper. Oh, thank you. So I just turned that around. I'm here with Bella. And I will put a. I will stamp over it. With the same colour and so hopefully it will just be a bit darker. Thanks Jasper. Thanks Jasper. <laughs> Can you see that? Oh that's that's actually very clever. Yeah that works. This is called innovation. There's your coffee too. He, he barked to get um, off the chair because he, he's getting so because it's so cold here. His little hips are seizing up. Poor little boy. Now, if I wanted to cover that, which I think I do, I could just come over and do that with a sticker. like so and then I can add what's the piece that I want to add I oh that's add a, a good way of doing it if you miss stamps yeah something. exactly and there's that blue one over there as well blue to a couple of blue heads yeah yeah great so anyway a couple of alternatives there. Now the next thing that we want to do is just add some sticker flowers. So let's do that. Some robot flowers, some cogwheel flowers. Add a little flower here. Bella's doing well, Carrie. She's all snuggled in her little bed. Oh, it's actually a big bed that's meant to be for Jasper, but she's still on it. And she looks very snuggly. Snuggly. And the weather here, Audrey, is very cold for us. For probably us. probably yeah. not in comparison to how cold it gets for the rest of you, but for us it's very cold. Um, what does it say today? The weather is 11. It was 6 degrees this morning. 11 degrees for you guys in Fahrenheit is... 11 51.8 Fahrenheit yeah and this one here is in pumpkin like so And like so. I love that stamp. It's very cute, mm. isn't it? And so this is simply just stuck on with some dimmies. So I'll pop one of those out. I'll pop two of them out because I made two. Do you have any more cards to make, or is that it? No, that's it. Well, I was going to make an alternative with the heart again. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Um, thank you for purchasing a mug, Fran. And remind me to show everyone the new tutorial um, tutorial bundle. So I actually finished all the dimensionals. Oh, good job. Are you surprised? I'm very surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> and so then this goes... 
It says over there, but I think it's better over there because that's where the speech bubble is. Maybe I used the wrong speech bubble. Anyway. <laughs> I love that. Um, Teresa said, I'd love how Bruno on purpose made those boo-boos so that then he could show us how to fix them. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda's like, trust me, I did not. I did not to. do that on purpose. I'm, I'm escalating. I'm escalating. <laughs> I can't handle it. My OCD in me is not handling it. <laughs> so we'll move you across here. Sure, sure. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Look. What is that? Instead of that. Is there a spare card base? No, but I'm going to use it, like swap it out. Ah, good. Good idea. Yeah. Okay, I've got an so idea, Crazy's everyone. Got an idea, everyone. Got a cool idea. The juices are flowing. <laughs> this sounds a little wrong, but anyway. <laughs> so we've got. This is my idea, everyone. Ready? I actually thought I finished all of these, so I'm not sure. I thought I did three of them, but anyway, I'm glad I didn't because I had this one. I must have only done the two because, check this out, people, you may want to just try something a little different and change the card base. So I think I'll do exactly what I did on this one, but I'm going to change the card base to this beautiful blushing bride one. Isn't that nice? And we can go like this. We'll go that side. And we can go like so. So this one here I'm going to use. Oh, can I use on this one? I don't think I want to use it on that one. Oh, it is actually quite nice though. We're really mixing things up here. I'm a rebel without a cause. Without a cause. Yep. <laughs> or with a cause. So this one here, we could actually mix it up and do something like that. Instead of the um, ribbon. Good Bruno. Bruno's like, what? I don't know what you're doing. No, I was looking at the comments. Ah. And where's my grateful... So grateful for you. So grateful for you, Bruno. Caitlin! Caitlin! We were talking about you earlier, Caitlin. Yep. About how you win, you won the mug. Yeah, you won the mug, inverted commas. That's what you tell Matthew. Um, yeah, Matthew, I won again. You did win a few. Ooh, what do we think? Well, seriously, it's so amazing. So grateful we are. And what we can do is use some of these. Because we've got some of these leftovers as well. We're doing a, a mashup of two cards here, just swapping them around. But I, I actually really like that with the... Um, ribbon like that and then we're going to raise that up like that and what we'll do is we'll do a bit of a we'll share these around between the two so I think what I will save for this one is the blushing bride flowers because I think that that matches it sort of brings in the flowers on there so I'm going to do something like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to bring in these ones here too because that actually looks really lovely together. I'll just do that, those three. Yep. And then these ones. Let's have a little look here. I might just leave these off actually. So they're going to be sparesies. So I'm just going to have that, the ribbon behind, and then the million thanks. 
A million thanks is all it's gonna, gonna take. take. I love that song. A million thanks. You may be right, I may be wrong, but say that you'll bring me along to a world you see. To the world I close my eyes to see, close my eyes to see. Every night I lie in bed, <laughs> the brightest colors fill my head. <laughs> now I need a million thanks. That's I don't know where my <laughs> I don't know where my million thanks stamp has gone. Where are you, little one? I know you're here somewhere. Not there, not there, not there. Stamp? Yeah, I stamped it. Oh, the did, stamped piece. I did three of them. But it's the stamped piece has gone for a walkabout. Oh, well. <gasps> Don't, oh, well, help me, help me find it. <laughs> Come on, little one. You're here somewhere. I know you are. <laughs> Look at this. Is it there? Is yeah, it? There it is. Oh, I need help me find it. Thank you, Bruno. You're right. Oh! oh, yeah, that's going to be perfect. Now, I think on top. So we're going to have the ribbon go like that and then this across there. Oh, yes, I love it. Love, love, love. Um, Angie has got some news to share with you, Bruno, that I think you're going to get quite jealous about. Oh, yes. She said her sister and I are very excited. Mm -hmm. We have tickets to see Hugh Jackman in The Music, Music Man, Man with in Sutton New York Foster. in August. Wow. Yeah. He's very good. I saw him in Sunset Boulevard. Very good. When was Sunset, what, Sunset Boulevard? It was pre-you. Pre me, yeah. <gasps> he played um, Gillis. We missed you, Mary. It's lovely to see your name pop up again. She said she hasn't been around for the last couple of weeks with our lives. We're happy that you're here today, and she's missed us. We missed you. I've done all of them. I know. It's the best. I love it when I get all of them done. That is always the goal. Because once you open a kit, if you don't finish it in that sitting, that's it. It gets put in a box, never to be seen again. So the next challenge that we have, Bruno Bacucci, yeah. is what? What are we challenging ourselves to do? Send them all. Send them. Whoop, whoop. So we have to choose some well-deserving friends or family members. In fact, we could send this to your mum and dad because they gave us a gift yesterday. So I think I want to send a million thanks to them Oops. with the love heart because they are cuties. There we go. This kit is called A Million Thanks, Lena. I'm really mixing it up here because the heart is meant to be on here. But I actually like, what do you think? Do you like it more on the blushing? I think it looks amazing. It looks great. Yeah. I'm very happy with it on here. The black and white piece looks like ribbon. Yes, I agree, Audrey. Yeah, I think that's the idea or the, the goal that they went for. And they I think they've achieved it. I think so too. Mm. And I like it on the angle like that. What do you think of that one, everyone? I'm really Very happy good. with that. And then this one here, we're going to mix this up because normally this one was on the blushing bride, but we're going to add this instead. Like so. And then dimensional this. What are you up to, Jasper? We're we gonna have another day of you just barking at us all day. <laughs> 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 He's 
either hungry or wants a massage. It's like having a newborn at the moment. It's like, oh my goodness, I'm getting woken up at night numerous times because the baby's cold. <laughs> then the baby wants to be fed. Angie likes the heart on the blushing. Yeah, I really love it on the blushing. <clears throat> I think it, it is a winner winner chicken dinner. So if you're new to crafting, this type of um, crafting is great. Yeah. It's fantastic because you can just follow the directions, but you can also test your creativity. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. with. There's always leftover pieces mm. in the kits. And the stamp set afterwards <gasps> you can use for whatever. So um, if you're new, you yeah. And even if you're not new. Even if you're not new, you can use it for you anything. You can challenge yourself if you're a bit like, ugh. Meh. We're all a bit meh at the moment. Oh, Patricia saw the Music Man in April. Oh, wow. I've been watching little clips on YouTube and the kids look amazing. Yeah. So talented. Look at that. I really like that. I'm just going to bring this nice. one down here a little bit and hover over the top. So I've done a dimensional on this one and a dimensional on that one. That's actually turned out a lot better than I even envisioned in Audrey my head. Audrey agrees that the heart looks better. Yeah, on the doesn't it look bride? really good on the blushing bride? I'm glad we. I just it suddenly hit me. It would also look nice on like a soft succulent. Oh that yeah, soft succulent? Soft, yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that would be soft succulent. That one. It would look nice on a mm. cut base. You could take any of the pieces. Mm. Are there pieces left? No, like that's it. Pieces? I used them all. That's the only three left. Wow. But I could pop that one on the inside here somewhere and just offset it and then cut it. So Jasper is right. His foot is right under your Is he chair. really? He's funny. Jasper. Oh. <laughs> no. Get on your bed. Come on. He, on needs, he needs massages. On Come on. His poor little yeah. back is sore today. We might have to take him to the vet. Get him some get him some medication because he's a bit sore. So let's show all of my ones, all with the envelopes as well. Oh yeah, there was one branch left. That's all I ended up left with. All of those are done. All of those are done. I'll pull out all the rubbish from here. Good. So we've got what are our envelopes? Oh, they're lovely. They're just like boring. Yeah. But the they're inside. not um like it doesn't have to go with I, I find it difficult when I have to choose which envelope to <laughs> to go with what. So they're all there. And we've got this one. I did those two the same, but then we mixed it up and did the last one of the grateful one on this backing. So that's a really different idea, isn't it? I really like that one. I think it looks great with the leaves. Come, I like the leaves better on this one than I do on the heart because that's the million dollar thing. Million um, thanks. Million, million dollar, dollar thanks. thanks. <laughs> yeah. So I really love that. I think that you could really um, change it up. Even this face here. You could try the heart on one of these if you wanted to as well. But, yeah, I think it just shows, like, don't think that the kits, you know, are beneath you. You might be like, oh, I'm more of an advanced crafter. That's the voice you use when you look at kits. <laughs> I'm more of an advanced crafter. But don't poo-poo them because, you know, I found this really fun and inspiring and still challenging like it challenged me creatively without hurting my brain and I think that's what we need these days we need simple easy and now I have three six nine beautiful cards to send to friends and family which is lovely so thank you all very much for being here and supporting our YouTube video and it was lovely having Bruno along with us we always love it when Bruno comes along he set everything up for me this morning and even got me a cup of coffee as well everything was ready to go because I was like dead 
so asleep. No one's behind me. I'm not going to run over anyone. No. <laughs> Wee! Rolly, rolly. So I there we go. Which, one, which one's the actual one of that one? Uh, it was the three one. The stamped three one with the goggly eyes. And the... So not that one. Mm -hmm. Come here, Jasper. Poor little boy. Hey, Is it that one? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Okay. We'll have to take our photo. Oh, be gentle. <laughs> had enough of Jasper today. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, get out of my way. <laughs> He's behind you. I know, I can see him. I can see him in the mirror. So I'm going to have, I think I'm going to show my blushing bride one, even though it's not what was on the video. Where are we? <laughs> Seriously, I'm so grateful for you, Bruno. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bruno's like, which side? I'll go here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's great. Thank you all very much. And I just want to show you before we go the tutorial uh bundle of the month so if you order with us you always get the video tutorial bundle for free it's a gift that we give you as well order as, from our stampin up online store yeah the online store not the retired or the digital store and they can get to that by yes i think we can do it in here yeah i'm pretty sure that's connected let's try it before i show you yes don't you love it when things just connect? So, not disconnect, just connect. Uh, What's that one? Hmm. What is that one? Oh, that's the other one. Okay. Yeah. So we'll go here. Kali Baturuchi. So if you go over to Kali Baturuchi. Dot com. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, you'll have to probably have to reconnect it because it restarted. Oh, oh, oh! Yes, good job. Have you turned it off and on? So if you go to kyliebutichi.com, and P.S. Isn't this card just beautiful? I just would like to say something very funny that all of you will absolutely love about this. Ah, oh, that feels really small. That picture. Anyway. Um, so this picture here, you can see this beautiful card. I think this is the Sun Prints suite. I've used the fern embossing fold and done a bit of sponging. But see this little bit of grunge here, like, you know, crumb cake, inverted commas? No, that's actually a coffee stain. That and that. <laughs> Did you know that? No. <laughs> and so then I came in with some more crumb cake just to, you know, offset the coffee pieces on there. That's funny. <laughs> I was so devastated. I was like, how could I get coffee on my card? And then I just, I went with it. So what do you think, everyone? Do you like the coffee stain look? I really love the coffee stain look. I think it looks really, really nice. I think it's added something brilliant to it. So anyway, if you go up here, I digress, and then you go to tutorials. Click on shop, hover and shop. Hover on shop and go to tutorials, click on tutorials, and you will see our very latest tutorial, which is the heart and home bundle. And as you can see, oh my goodness, look at Cheryl Miller's. <gasps> How did she do that? Watch the video and see. That looks so beautiful. Zara, look at these beautiful projects. My project, I have to say, I'm a bit impressed with myself <laughs> because it's a fun fold card that I have never done before and I know you're going to love it. So come and check it out, everyone. Wendy's has a bit of magic in it. Really? Yes. Wow. So while we're here, can you scroll down? Yes. Yep, up. Up, yep. Go home. Home. Do I just click? Yep. Go, oh, there. Click on the banner. Um, click on enamel pins. Mm -hmm. So you can drop down this menu. Right. And you can choose whichever one you want right. and add them to cart. Mm -hmm. However, if you scroll down here, see this Ooh, section, enamel pins. pins. Yeah. So click on 
Yes. Ah, so you select and which you four select you which want. One. And so you don't you, have to can select. Can you do like four yes, of the can. same? Right. I want four love it chocolate pens. I'm going to give it to some friends. Or you could have three and then. Okay. And so you save $5 if you do it that way rather like than buying that. them four individually. Very smart. That is brilliant. Um, one minute. Oh. I've got something else to show you. Um, sorry, if you go over here as well, um, we've got the mug, which, yeah, if you want to get the mug, and we've got a few of these left as well, the online stamp and retreat pin. So even though this has got enamel pins here, if you're looking, we might even, can we merge them? We can't. Oh, why not? Because that, they might lose that. But anyway, just so you know that that is in a different spot, because you might be looking for that. But it, it, there's still a few of those left. And, yeah. So if you want the tutorial bundle for free, our team members and our customers receive this when they – the customers, when they purchase with us, our team members, if they're in our direct team, you get they get this as a gift. And if you don't shop with us, if you live in another country, then you can buy this – um, by adding it to your cart, you just have to log in because there were some people that were buying and not giving an email address. So we had to do, you have to log in because then we had to send it all manually. So you just will need to create a login for this shop. So there you go. That is all our info for you. I think that was everything. What did Jodie say? She loves them. You love the pins or you That's love the so tutorial? Cool. <laughs> Tess. <laughs> yeah, the probably the bundle. Mm. So I have a beautiful lunch prepared for you today, Bruno Batucci. Oh, yes. Mr. Vealum. Oh, I like that, Judy. I, I made some poached chicken. Hi from so Cranburn North. Hi, Judith. We're going to have a poached chicken wrap with avocado. Do we have any avocado that's yes. not off? No, it's... What, what do you say about avocado? Avocado oh. is, um, sorry, <laughs> do you want to move back a bit? Sure. So that we're not. I'm not rolling over a dog. No. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Um, avocado is not ready, not ready, not ready. <laughs> then at 3 a.m. it's ready, <laughs> and by 3.15 it's off. It's off. <laughs> That's how avocados work. <laughs> that is the scientific evidence of avocados. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Not sure I understand. Oh, thanks, Siri. Look at her and go away. Hmm? But yes, I have. Oh, he's talking okay. here now. Siri, go, go away. away. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, I have a poached chicken wrap with lettuce, mayo, avocado. Do we have wraps? Yes, we have Are wraps. Are you sure? Yeah. Because I've. Had quite a few of them. Have you? That's all right. I'll order some if we don't. I'll I'll go to the shops for you because I really feel like a poached chicken wrap. Mm. I love that. Mm, okay. There might even be some gosling left actually. Could you finish them? Don't know. Mm. So yes, big hugs to you all. Two hours and three minutes. Wow. Epic. We made all of those cards. But we did two. Entire yeah. kits. Did you do nine as well? I did nine. Well, that's 18 cards in two hours. That's a pretty good... Normally, it's one card for me in two hours. Yes. <laughs> so that's pretty good. <laughs> and I love that, Patricia. You're right about avocados, Bruno. <laughs> apparently, there's this thing going around that you put avocados in water, but apparently it's really bad for you. I've seen um, on one of the people I follow on TikTok. Someone said you can get it. It's just sick ridiculous, from it. like the, what they do. And I'm like, there's no way that would work. Maybe it does, but. Jesse, is this real life? <laughs> I need some food. Give me some food. Did you like the memory that came up today of us at the Good Food and Wine yes, Show? Yes, the with Good Jessie? Food and Wine Show is happening right now, today. Is it today? Yeah. Oh, I wanted to go. Yes, Terry, that would be, you'd really enjoy it. We're happy that you are here, but you can watch the replay. So yeah. that will be there as soon as we finish. So um, as we mentioned at the start, 
check out, go to our home page, our website, www.crylibertucci.com. Click on shop. And go to our Stampin' Up! store because they're our last chance products. Yes, the last chance. Some and of them 50% Some off. of them up to 50% off. Mm. But in addition to that, there's also the sale on the kits. So it's mm. buy one, get one 50% off, the more expensive one. And mm. so you can buy both of the kits that we use mm. today and uh, one of them will be 50% off. The Robot Buddies will be 50% off because it's more yes, expensive. Yes, please. So um, go ahead and uh, check that out. Anything else, Kylie? I think that's it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching us today. Miss you already. Thank you, Kylie. Wow. Thank you, Bruno. Thanks for joining me today. Pleasure. You helped me a lot. Happy to help. Thank you. Thank you for Ser the music. Seriously. Seriously. Grateful for you. Seriously. I'm seriously grateful for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, where's the camera? <laughs> Look.